Tagore, also known as the Indian Basan Itseodan, or its scientific name, the Boscorus. It's extinct in Sri Lanka and is vulnerable in Southeast Asia. An average gore gives birth to one calf per birth, um, and that's one of the factors why um, gores are extinct in Sri Lanka and vulnerable in Southeast Asia. It's because they don't reproduce as fast and as um, in larger scales as many animals would. So, um, baby cows start feeding on milk first and then um, develop to eat leaves and grass and fruits. So, a life cycle of, of a goer is its birth, growth, they start finding food um, by itself, and then they escape from predators, um, humans, lions, tigers, those sort of stuff, and then they sleep, and then after a few cycles, many cycles, um, they give birth, and then, uh, yeah, it goes on again. So, the biggest threat of the gore is hunters. Hunters um, mainly hunt for gore's horns, and um, gore's, that's, the hunters are one of the main factors of why gore's are almost extinct and extinct in Sri Lanka. So, the horns. The horns are very exclusive in Asia and worldwide, too. Um, they sell for a lot, and the, the reason why Sri Lanka has, um, there's no more gores is because people, it's not because, um, there's not, there's, um, there was less population of gores at the beginning. It was because, um, it's a real exclusivity at Sri Lanka, gore horns. It's like rich people will have it and stuff. So, um, hunters can get more profit off, um, gore horns. So, um, lots of people go hunting for gore horns and, Gained a lot of money, so that now there's no more gore horns horn for Sri Lankans to say, to, um, for sale. So, what are the government and other people trying to do to save these um endangered species? They are taking out houses in um gore territory, meaning um that gores can have like more like safe lives, because they're assuming that people with they're just like they want more habitat for gores. The banning trade of anything made from gores, including meat, horns, or anything made from the gore. And they're keeping them in protective reserves. Meaning that people can come in to see them, but it's um, restricted to kill them. So that they live um, a full life and a happy life. So how can we help? Or how can we convince people to help? Um, ask people to ban or just um, tell the just like the government can ban um gore trading worldwide um like permanently or just um ban it for um a couple of years, ten years, twenty years, allow the gore to reproduce and then um let the slowly let the um gore hunting begin again, but yeah.